So we must apply uh, we must apply uh, scientific pressure to ICRP. I think so. Uh, but uh, what do you think about this? Well, I think ICRP have done a very professional yeah. job, which yeah. is exactly yeah. what at the time of the Cold War we asked them to do, mm. which was to set up advice and, and, uh, and regulations for, for, uh, for, for governments to follow uh, based on the idea that people wanted as little radiation in their lives as possible. Um, now, maybe that is what they want and they can choose to that, but that's not a safety level. Mm -hmm. The acronym that they use is as low as reasonably achievable. Yes. Now, that is not a statement about safety. Yeah. That's how low can you get it. Well, in fact, we know, in fact, most of us uh, have experience uh, in our friends and families of people who've had mm -hmm. uh, radiation used for their medical health, yeah. uh, which can be a thousand times higher than the yes. uh, yes. ALARA uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. regulations. Mm -hmm. So ICRP mm -hmm. need to respond to a different mandate from the world's people. Mm -hmm. They've done a good job so far. Yeah they need to turn around through 180 degrees and realize that the fact that uh, the world needs nuclear power in place of fossil fuels means that we've got to take a completely different attitude to nuclear radiation. Uh, and that's what I'm anxious to do, both on the one hand of by talking to people at pubs and clubs to the, to the public uh, in schools and universities but also, we need guidance from ICRP, which is actually matches what the problem is.